Hi everybody, this is Laura and Arnie with Crazy Cool Cakes. It's time to make your St. Patrick's Day treats. We've teamed up with some of our friends to bring you this wonderful set of tutorials to inspire you. You can check out these videos by clicking on the individual photos now or you can find the link to the entire playlist underneath our video. We'll be teaching you how to make this adorable kawaii shamrock or four leaf clover cupcake topper. Let's go ahead and get started, shall we? So we're gonna start with a really pretty leaf green and we're just gonna roll this out to about one eighth of an inch. And I'm going to use one of my favorite circle cutters. This is by Atico and this is the two inch circle cutter. Okay, so once you have your circle cut, we're just gonna set that off to the side for a little while so I can start drying. So now we're going to use a really pretty electric green and we're just gonna roll this out nice and thin. Again, about an eighth of an inch. And we're going to use a pretty small heart cutter. This is about three quarter of an inch at its widest point and we're just gonna cut out four little hearts and this is to make the little leaves of the shamrock. And now, make sure you have your edible glue handy. If you don't know how to make edible glue, it's very, very simple. Be sure to check out our totally awesome tutorial. Okay, so all we're gonna do is place our four little hearts so that it looks like a cute little shamrock. Make sure you don't have any little shenanigans. That's an Irish word, isn't it? I don't huh? know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> any little... Thing. I don't believe it's Irish though. Any little thingy sticking up. Celebrating the look of the Irish. Even though there is no such thing as luck. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, so just position the four little hearts so that they are right in the center of the circle. And you wanna leave a little bit of a gap at the bottom because we're gonna be adding a cute little stem so that's where that's gonna go and all we're gonna simply do now is glue them in place. Take your edible glue and just add a little tiny bit of glue to the back of each one and then we'll just place them on there. This is when your very cool flat end comes in handy because it just sticks. Remember you can find the list of all of the tools and the materials that we use underneath the video in the show more section. One. Oh, that's just great! Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're just gonna take a small pea size, little green, same green we used for the leaves of our four-leaf clover. And we're just gonna roll this into a long little teardrop, make one end super pointy. This is only about a about three quarter of an inch long. And then take your middle finger and just semi flatten. And then you're gonna take your blade and you're gonna cut the end of the stem at a slight angle, just like that. So now all you're gonna do is take a little bit of glue, make sure the end is very pointy because that's gonna go right between the two little leaves at the bottom. Just add a little bit of glue on the back side and then place the point right between the two little leaves right in there and then just arch it really cute however you think it'll look cute. If you're making several of these you can make the stems go off in different little directions. Doesn't that look cute? And there you have your four leaf clover. If I even attempt the accent, I'm gonna sound like a total moron, so I'm not even gonna try. I just got it from watching the Lucky Charms commercial, always after me Lucky Charms. Mmm, <laughs> I love Lucky Charms. They're magically delicious. <laughs> <laughs> 
Okay, so for the eyes, we are going to use some black gum paste. So let's just roll this out nice and thin. And then we're going to use a size 10 tip. Just cut out two little eyes. Okay, and then to place the eyes, all we're going to do is take each eye, add a little bit of edible glue. And we're going to be doing this in the kawaii style. I love anything and everything kawaii so as you know with kawaii style we're going to be leaving a good amount of space in between the eyes there's one okay now let's make a little tiny mouth just take a little tiny bit a minuscule amount of black Minuscule, just like that. Okay, so of course this is way too much. We're just gonna give her, and so our little clover, in case you didn't know, is a she. <laughs> so just roll it out super, super thin, and go ahead and arch it. And we're just going for a really little smile. So there's our little tiny smile, and then just cut off what we don't need. And we are left with a little cute smile. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Now here's the tricky thing. Is carefully picking it up, flipping it over. <laughs> See how many tries this actually takes. And then add a little tiny bit of glue in the back. And then we're gonna add the little tiny smile. Make sure it stays nice and arched. Don't drop it. <laughs> and put it right between the eyes but a little bit below almost in the perfect spot the first time isn't that cute uh -huh. i'm amazed at how you did that me too okay now we're gonna make some really cute little pink cheeks so just take a very small amount of pink carefully roll it out And for the little tiny cheeks, we're going to use a size 6 tip. And so just cut out two little tiny pink cheeks. Okay, and all we're going to do is add a little bit of glue to the back of each little pink circle. And place it right under the eye and to the side. All right, now we're gonna give her a super cute little bow. And for this, you're just gonna need two little pea-sized balls of white. Try and shoot for both of them being the same size or close to. And to make a cute little bow, we are going to just roll this, roll each ball into a cute little teardrop and then just gently press down on the inside and straighten the end slightly. Let's do the same for the other one. Semi-flatten and straighten the end. This is the simple, easy way to make a super cute, quick bow. Okay, so there's the two little the two little pieces of the bow. Then we're gonna make the little center piece. Here's a little center piece, little tiny ball. I'm just gonna roll that into a little capsule shape. And then just kind of flatten it with your finger by tapping it down. Then we're gonna take our little shamrock and add a tiny little bit of glue on the back of each little bow piece. It 
is cute. Mm -hmm. If you wanted to make a boy shamrock, then you would maybe put it here, like okay, a little like bow tie. A, a bow tie. Mm -hmm. That would be you, but this one is me. <laughs> okay, and then just add a little bit of glue to your little center piece, and this is going to overlap. Go between the two little bow pieces, and then just position it in place, just like that. Isn't that cute? There you go. Okay, now we're gonna start with the super cuteness here. So we're gonna add some really cute little white glow dots to our eyes. You can use any white gel food coloring at all. They're all pretty much the same. So I'm just gonna squirt one little dot on my table here. I'm going to use my super awesome nail dotting tools. You can find the links to these underneath the video and for the larger dot I'm going to use the green nail dotting tool and I'm going to use the larger ball of the two so just dip the ball not all the way just touch the surface of the drop and we're going to add our first dot on the top and make sure you pick up a new dot of gel food coloring each time so I, if I added this dot top right, I'm going to also add a top right on the other eye. And make sure you wipe it clean. I'm going to use the tiniest, it's not really even a ball, it's just a little pointy end on the smallest ball tool. So just pick up a little tiny blob and then we're just going to do a tiny little dot right underneath. Eye. How cute is that? Very cute. Mm -hmm. Cute. Clean up my mess here. Now we're going to add some really pretty gold sparkle. And I'm going to use my Maricolor Gold Sheen airbrush color. For me, this is the easiest and simplest way to do this. So I'm just going to put a little tiny dot on my silicone mat. Love this it looks color. like real gold there. It does. It's awesome. All right, so we're gonna use two different ball tools for this. So we'll use the the little ball on the blue tool, which is the smallest one, and then again, we'll use the green one. So just random, just whatever you think looks pretty. Give it some gold. Some gold speckles. Mhm. Mm And now let's do some tiny little dots with the little pointy end. Tiny little. Okay, so, so far there is our, look at how, how that uh, glows the gold. Oh, yeah. Beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna add a really pretty, um, I guess it's called a tartan pattern or a plaid on the bow. Okay, so for this I'm going to be using my green Wilton Food Writer and I like this one because it's a nice little pointy tip. And generally I like to wait until the toppers are totally dry before I do this. But let's just go ahead and give it a try with the little bow not rock hard yet. Last but not least, we're gonna add some really pretty green pearl shimmer to our little shamrock. So just pick up a little bit and put it in the little cap. Not a lot, just a little bit. And we're just gonna give her little face some cute little green shimmer. Whoa. She's really coming alive, the little stem. 
how pretty that looks. Mm -hmm. What a difference. How pretty that looks. Mm -hmm. I, I want to see pictures of everybody else's doing it. Yeah. Yeah, be sure to post them on our Facebook page, guys. So we can take a look. Super cute. Hmm? There you go guys, beautiful little shamrock cupcake topper. As you can see, very easy to make, very quick. Super, super fun. So we hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial. Let us know what you thought of it. Please give it a like and a thumbs up. And uh, we look forward to reading all of your wonderful comments. Thank you so much for being subscribers and happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. God bless you all. Take care y'all, bye-bye. Don't forget to check out all these other tutorials. You can find the links underneath our video.